Hi, today we're going to be looking at temperature in a grass clamp, okay? Quite often people get a little bit confused where they've got a silage a little bit warm, uh, some, some of it's warmer than the other. So I'll just put my probes in because they'll, they'll take a minute or so just to settle out. So if I put this probe into the silage that was exposed this morning and this that was exposed two or three days ago. Now the background temperature over the last few days has been about eight, nine degrees, okay? So the ambient's been eight, nine degrees. So what we would hope is that where silage is exposed to air, it will be no warmer than the freshly exposed grass or it will be cooler, okay? What we often find today, where people do a really good job consolidating silage, especially with silages, you know, these multi-cut type grasses, where it's compacted well, heat struggles to dissipate out. So we end up with trapped heat sort of through the core of the clamp. So if we look at the bottom or the top or the sides, it's going to be cooler. This middle core bit can be warmer. So here, uh, what we hope for now is for the freshly uh, exposed stuff to be warmer or the same as the older stuff. Actually, is that what was exposed this morning is 25.6 degrees C. What was exposed a few days ago is 17.8. So the stuff that's been exposed for a few days is cooling off nicely, even though you might look at this when you're putting it into the wagon and thinking that's a little bit warm, especially if it's a frosty morning. You know, 24, 25 degrees is gonna feel quite warm, but it's not heat that is building up in the clamp now. That heat is being lost here. Um, so it's not aerobic spoilage, okay? So that is what we would hope. That is, you know, a good result.